Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Boy Kills World, and this is a new crazed action flick from director Moritz Moore, and this film tells the story of Boy, who has been through a lot, and there's this family in this dystopia that has taken everything from him, and he is trained by this great shaman to be a killing machine, and he winds up going on a mission to take out this family, the Vanderkoys. And you have Bill Skarsgård as boy who does so many great things, which is his facial expressions, his physical choices as an actor, and the physicality of the action sequences throughout this film. But what really brings it together in a very humorous way in many ways is H. John Benjamin, who is his internal voice that is just pitch perfect. And it's such a weird contrast, but works really well for the film and is a fun time. Just his internal monologues are a blast. You have a great supporting cast from Famke Jansen, Michelle Dougherty, Brett Gelman especially, and Charto Copley who portray the Vanderkoy family. They're a whole bunch of horrible people. But it's really Jessica Roth, who you may know from Happy Death Day, who's like the head of their security that's a real standout in this film, and they do some interesting things with her character. Might become a little obvious on exactly what after a while, but, you know, it's still some interesting dynamics. This film has some twists and turns along the way, some of which I did not see at all. Um, it gets pretty dark and heavy towards its third act, and as you figure out what's really going on in this story, some of them you do see coming a mile away. But what is absolutely excellent is the fantastic camera work from cinematographer Peter Matt Jasko and the choreography of this these action sequences. It is thrilling, it's exciting, it's bonkers this is violent it's bloody buckets of fun buckets of blood and these action sequences are some of the best you've probably will see in a while it is thrilling it is visceral there's this crazy climactic fight you get uh yayen rohian who uh, has was in the raid in the raid 2 and in john wick and is just an incredible physical performer and what he brings to the table, there's one particular action sequence towards the very end that is brutal as hell and crazy over the top. What Moore has going on in his head is this complete mayhem. The film is close to two hours. It honestly moved a lot better than I thought after I saw that it was going to be a two-hour film. But the narrative does get a bit messy and convoluted. But in general, this has a crazy post-apocalyptic world, some fun performances. The characters might not have as much depth, but at least the performers bring a lot of energy and personality to these characters. And in the end, this is a crazy, exciting, violent, bloody thrill ride that is unique in its voice and fantastic in its voice too with H. John Benjamin. But in the end, this is certainly an action flick worth checking out. But those are my thoughts on Boy Kills World. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in to your Wasteland Reviewer.